<laughs> okay, so what I wanted to try is to see if I could set myself on fire. Walk towards the camera. I've never done motion capture before, so I'm gonna take you along with me. And I fi I do not like clothes that are tight on me, so I was very worried to put this on, but it was only moderately uncomfortable, which is significantly better than I thought it'd be. I just can't with certain fabrics. So now that I looked like I was straight from Tron, it was time for me to do my first motion capture. So given that I don't know what I'm doing, I wouldn't call this a tutorial, more of a exploration of how to even get this thing synced up so let's figure it out okay zoom calibration pose analyzing okay so one of these arms is working one of them is not my left my left arm is dead Yes, the worst possible thing that could have happened did happen. Did this multi-thousand dollar suit not have an arm that was working? What was going on? Well, I was gonna diagnose this issue, but first, you know, <laughs> I just set this up. I wanted to fuck around with it. Okay, I'm gonna figure out why the left arm isn't alive. I don't know what was happening, because now I moved the left arm. Clearly it's moving. Right arm. I don't know. I do not know. Maybe I put it on again. That's what I look like trying to put on the suit. I bet there's uh, contortionists that can do that. I'm not sure what a job that must be to have. They probably all have ehlers Danlos Syndrome. Putting on this suit had my mind going into all sorts of places, but now the moment of truth. Left arm, right arm. Good, good. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Now we're in motion. Let's try a uh, clip. So at this point, you already know that I was getting my source footage for what turned out to be a fire effect. I didn't know it at the time, but during the entire capture process, I'm, you know, it didn't really seem to have any issues and I didn't end up doing any cleanup, mostly because I don't know how to do it. <sighs> no. <laughs> okay, this is exhausting. We're come down. Oh, I didn't record any of that. God damn it. I'm just gonna let you know right now, if you intend to do any motion capture, you are gonna be a sweaty pig man or pig woman, but um, blender, right? Yes. Now getting the export into Blender, I don't know if this is covered in a tutorial or something, probably is, but I tried a bunch of different export settings, a lot of which, you know, it gave these results. That's all I have to say. After playing around, these are the import settings, I guess, that worked out for me, but I could export this into Blender and then have the hardest time in my life trying to align the camera to this. This is more me just not taking measurements as to like where the camera was space and anything but this alignment is necessary to eventually bring this into embergen which is where you know all the stuff's gonna happen so once i found a segment that i liked and you know wanted to transfer it over i exported this as a alembic and embergen has this node for importing in both cameras and objects using alembic that i basically just hot swapped changed some settings like pretty much i use default settings and crazy thing about Embergen is it just renders like near real time or simulates real time for sure. Meaning that I could try out a bunch of uh, iterations here and I didn't really do much compositing. I mean, the, the proof of concept was enough for me. And gosh dang it, I'll say it. I had fun making this video, less so editing it, more, more so everything around editing it. And by the way, for the next video, you can expect me to.